Welcome back, mathematicians, and let's get ready to go over our problem. I want to remind you that mathematicians can use the solve method to solve word problems by showing and explaining their thinking. I hope that as you were working, that you worked on a goal. And I want to remind you that you are in control. Whenever you need to pause the video to do turn and talk, you can do so. So let's continue by going over our poster, um, our solve steps. So we're going to study the problem. We're going to make sure we underline the question and ask ourselves, what is this problem asking us to find? Then we're going to organize the facts. We're going to circle every single important fact. Next, we're going to line up a plan by choosing two different strategies. We're going to use those strategies to verify our um, actions. And then we're going to examine our results by asking ourselves, does our answer make sense? And does our answer answer the question? So let's see. So let's start by reading our problem. Join me in the reading. Alan is measuring some of his toys. He has already measured five cars and six robots. He has 17 toys in all to measure. How many more toys does he need to measure? So let's see. Let's study the problem. What is this problem asking us to find? Again, you can turn and talk, pause the video. So the problem is asking us to find how many toys does he need to measure? He's measuring toys. So he needs, we need to find out how many toys he needs to measure. Did you see how mathematicians, how I underlined the question? Make sure you have done that in your work. Now I need to organize the facts. We need to circle every single important fact. So let's reread the problem again and ask ourselves, is that fact important? Do I need it in order to answer the question? So let's see, Alan is measuring some of his toys. Do you think that's important? No, I don't think so. So I'm just gonna draw a line through it. Let's continue. He has already measured five cars and six robots. Do you think that's necessary? Is that a fact that we need to circle? Yes, it is. So I'm going to circle five cars and six robots. He has 17 toys in all to measure. What do you think is important in that sentence? Excellent. 17 toys in all to measure. So now, did you see mathematician how I underline the question to making and making sure that I know what the question is asking me, what the problem is asking me to find? And then I circle all important facts. Now I'm going to line up a plan. I need to think of two strategies that I can use to solve the problem. So let's see. Mm, I like using my manipulative, so I'm going to use my manipulatives for one. And then I'm going to use um, a number sentence. So let me go back and read the problem again. It says that Alan is measuring some of his toys. We know that's not important. He has, he has already measured 17 cars and 6 robots. So I'm going to use counters to represent the 5 cars and the 6 robots. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me start with five. This is five cars. So I'm going to label that as cars. And then he says that he measured six robots. 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to label that as robots. Robots. So now we know that he has 17 toys in all to measure. So we have five and then we have six. Five plus six gives us what? Gives us 11. And we need to get to what? 17. So we can just count up. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So these right here, mathematicians, will be the number of toys that he needs to measure. So how many toys does he need to measure? How many more toys? He needs to measure six more toys. So here we have five cars, six robots, right? And six more toys to measure. We don't know what type of toys are the ones that he needs to measure. So let me verify my, my plan with another action. Let me see. So let me use the number sentence. So I know that he has five cars and six robots. He measured those already. And five and six, we know is equals to 11. And we also know, so he already has 11 toys that he measured, plus, and we're trying to figure out how many more he needs to measure. And we know that he has 17 toys in all. So we have 11. 11 plus a number is going to give us 17. What number is that? 11 plus 6. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 11 plus 6 gives us 17. So we verify our plan with another action. Does our answer make sense? Let's take a look. So he had five cars and six robots that he already measured. And then we're trying to figure out how many more toys he has to measure. So he has 17 toys in all. So five plus six gives us 11. So we need to find a number that we add to 11 is gonna give us 17, which is the total number of toys 11 plus what? 11 plus 6 gives us 17. So for sure, we know that he needs to measure 17. No, not 17. I'm sorry. He needs to measure how many more toys? He needs to measure 6 more toys. 6. Did you see, mathematicians, how I studied a problem? by underlining the fact underlining the question then i organize the facts by circling all important facts i line up a plan by choosing two different strategies then i verify my plan with action last i examine my results by asking if my answer makes sense and does it answer the question make sure you have followed that and follow those steps when you are solving your problem. Till next time, take care.